Hi, this is Kerry Artek with Wicked Stocks, bringing you your daily Apple report for Thursday, March 21st, 2024. But before I walk you through the charts, as usual, just want to encourage you to please click like if you haven't already. Subscribe to the Wicked Stocks YouTube channel. Share the content, if you would, with friends and colleagues. And check out WickedStocks.com, where we offer a full suite of both daily and weekly analytical videos just like this one. Daily analysis in the SPY and the Triple Q, that is the S&P 500 and NASDAQ 100 ETFs. Weekly analysis in the S&P 500 index, the NASDAQ 100 index, the long bond ETF, the TLT, as well as two individual stock picks a week that you never see on YouTube. That is eight a month that cater to the three to five week swing trader out to the three to five month near term investor. We're always looking for at least 20% moves on those stock picks. And you can check out all of this for no cost for five days. We offer a five-day free trial up front with a Wickedstocks.com subscription. So sign up for Wickedstocks.com. Check it all out. If you don't like what you see within five days, you can cancel your subscription at no cost to you whatsoever. Let's take a look at the charts. I'm going to start with just the fact that it wasn't long ago uh, that we were anticipating this uh, 167.06, a long-term channel bottom. It had been like a one to two week objective uh, until we closed yesterday. And um, that is to say, well, let's go Tuesday. Let's close Tuesday above this um, 175.15 descending one third speed line. So you can see if you look at Tuesday's close, it is just above this speed line, signaling two to three weeks, roughly bullish continuation into the upper 180s. I'd also mentioned in yesterday video Tuesday's video that we did not close above this short-term rising channel top and um, you know not that I was trying to shake you out of a long position if you went long above the 175 15 speed line but that if you needed more confirmation to the upside it would be a settlement above 176 77 and so you can see uh, this here 175 15 is the more meaningful of the two it is a descending one-third speed line projected off that December high. I have it as a four star support above which 187.36 remains with present volatility a two to three week target. Yesterday's settlement also above the 176.77 channel top does support that, does underscore it and validate the sign of strength that should yield 180.38 probably today. Uh, and I, there's a part of me that really wants to reduce this to an intraday resistance. So you might note that um, I don't like encouraging aggressive selling in the face of a meaningful buy signal. But if you're an aggressive day trader and you trade both sides of the market and, um, you know, this is sort of the trade of the day. So even day traders who trade once a day, 180.38 is your level to sell, especially if you went long over the last day or two. 180.38 is your profit taking area. But I don't expect it to, to you know, to hold more than a day high at this point in time. I do see that the settlement above 175.15 should yield 187.36 over the next two to three weeks. And just so you know, as we're looking at that 187.36 speed line, we also have a descending channel top now on the weekly chart at 186 even. So you can see this area up here. This should be, I don't know why we haven't yet, bumped up to a four-star resistance area, able to contain buying on a monthly basis. It is considered a two- to three-week target. It should be into early April before we test it. 187.36 preceded by 186, even able to contain buying through April, perhaps, and we can fall away from here. So, you know, our two- to three-week time frame has shifted bullish. We were expecting 167.06 not very long ago. Uh, and that was based on, I can't even find the formations anymore that it was based on. Uh, but it was, uh, well, I will say in part on the settlement a few weeks ago below this 172.91 descending channel top, as you recall. But we're not there anymore. Where we are is above 175.15. Expecting 187.36 over the next two to three weeks. Upside today. I do have 180.38 that can contain session strength. And I will say that closing today above 180.38, that 187.36 two to three week target should be realized by the end of next week. 187.36 is once again preceded by a respectable channel top on the weekly chart that we find at 186 even. This area able to absorb buying uh, on at least a weekly, possibly monthly basis, and we can fall away from there again. So that is that. 
Um, downside today. I don't see a reason to sell this market, uh, you know, overnight into next week unless we close below 175.15. And, uh, you know, if we do close below 175.15, what do we have? We've got uh, this area here at 172.94. This is that kind of one, two week channel bottom coming up. That would be our quick target. But I really do think that if we close back below 175.15, that failure to follow through on a meaningful near to midterm buy signal over the next several weeks into the upper 180s is reason enough to not only exit a long position, two to three, three to five week swing traders, but also play the short side over the next week or two back to 167.06. So closing below 175.15, I do think we can test by the end of next week, 167.06. And of course, you know, on the way down, we will have this area that could contain daily selling pressures, uh, but I do think it would just be another day after that that we would also violate 172.94 if we close today below 175.15. So 172.94 uh, can contain session weakness, is a, a, a secondary sell signal if settled below, but I do think uh, you should exit long positions uh, three to five day and two to three week swing traders if we close today below 175.15. Until then, you can stay long three to five day swing traders to 180.38, two to three week swing traders up to 187.36. I think I've said it all. I don't really think there's anything else to be said. So wickedstocks.com has put out two stock picks this week, FYI, Raytheon Corporation and Intel. Intel went out on Wednesday, Raytheon on Tuesday. Fresh signals, fresh indications for you to look at the big picture for both of those markets. They both offer 20% plus, uh, you know, gain potential over the coming weeks and months. So check that out with the WickedSocks.com membership. You've got that five days free trial up front, and you can bow out at no cost to you whatsoever uh, if you cancel your subscription inside of five days. Uh, anyway, I'm going to leave it at that for uh, Thursday's Apple Report. Of course, I'll be back tomorrow with Fridays. You have a great evening.